Many students have written me that are confused about how you calculate uncertainties. Remember, I demonstrated in lectures that you are about one to two centimeters taller when you lie down than when you stand straight up. That was only possible because the uncertainty in my measurements were as small as one millimeter. Had they been half a centimeter, I would not have been able to demonstrate it. Uncertainties are of great importance. Any measurement without knowledge of an uncertainty is meaningless. How you arrive at the uncertainty, if you measure, say, one quantity, for instance, length, that depends on the quality of your instruments and on the reproducibility of the measurements and on your own skills. That's not what I want to talk about now. If a quantity is 200 plus or minus 5, we say the uncertainty is 5 or 2.5%. Frankly, we physicists never talk about the word uncertainty. We call that an error. We would say the value is 200 and the error is 5. You may say, well, did you make an error? <laughs> no, it's not that we make an error. It's a matter of jargon. We would say the number is 200 with an error of 5. Someone comes to me and says, I measured the temperature, 70 degrees. I would then say, what is the error? And I really mean then, what's the uncertainty? And the person knows that. So now comes the problem that many of you found rather difficult. What is the uncertainty in a quantity that has more than one variable? Suppose I drive a distance of 400 meters with an uncertainty of 20 meters. And I do that in 10 plus or minus 1 second. Now the question is, what is my average speed and what is the uncertainty in the average speed? So, we here have the 400 plus or minus 20. This is meters, put an M here. 5% error. And we do that in 10 plus or minus 1 second. Uh, that is a 10% error. This is 5%. So now we want to know what is the average speed, which is this divided by that. So I could write it again, 400 plus or minus 20 divided by 10 plus or minus 1. Clearly, the average speed is obviously 40 divided by 400 divided by 10, which is 40 meters per second. And now comes the big, big question, what do we get here? What we will be doing, and what I have been doing, always on 801, we follow what I call the poor man's version. We look at this ratio, and we make it as high as we possibly can. The highest value is clearly 420 divided by 9. 420 divided by 9, and 420 divided by 9 is 46.7. Then we calculate what is the lowest value that this can have. 
Well, the lowest value is obviously 380 divided by 11. And 380 divided by 11 is 34.5. Now look at this 40, look at this 46, 47, look at this 35-ish. I would therefore conclude that the error here is probably 6. So I would go for 40 plus or minus 6 meters per second. Notice that 40 plus or minus 6 is a 15% error. That is no accident. Because this 15% is the sum of this 5% and this 10%. So that's another way you could have found the uncertainty if you wanted to. Let's now take an example which is a little bit more complicated. We don't need this. And I will even remove this sheet. Suppose we have now a quantity which is A divided by B squared. I'm not talking about which dimensions, that's irrelevant for now. And A happens to be 420, uh, sorry, 400 plus or minus 20, and B happens to be 10 plus or minus 1. So what is A divided by B squared? Well, 400 divided by 100 is 4. So the question now is, what is this uncertainty? And you see that this is now a little bit more complicated because we have a b squared. However, we follow the same poor man's version. We first calculate the maximum possible value. The maximum possible value is 420 divided by 9 squared, which is 81. I will write down 9 squared. And 420 divided by 9 squared is 5.2. That's the maximum value. Now we go for the minimum value. The minimum value is 380 divided by 11 squared. Cannot be smaller. And that value is 3.1. So look at this number, 4, 5, 3. So I think you would agree with me that approximately the error is 1. 4 plus or minus 1. 4 plus or minus 1 is an error of 25%. That's obvious that it has to be 25%. Because the error in here is 5%. The error in B is 10%. But the error in B squared becomes 20%. Because 11 squared is 121. And so you see that even though the error in B is only 10%, the error in B squared becomes 20%, and 20 plus 5% gives you an error of 25%. If you have done that from the start, that is equivalent to the poor man's version. So always go to calculate the largest possible value the smallest possible value, and then make a reasonable estimate then based on the ratio itself. And you cannot be, you're not going to give more than one or two digits, of course, it would be ridiculous, 
that's why I simply put here a, a one. Uh, sorry, uh, a one here, yeah. Even though it says 3.1 here and it says uh, 5.2 here, I simply call that a one. I hope this will uh, solve your problems for the rest of Edo 1. Poor man's version. Call it Walter Lewin's version. Later in life, you will be taught a much more sophisticated and more correct way to calculate the uncertainties when more than one variable is at stake. But that is a course all by itself. The correct way of doing it will always give you a smaller error, a smaller uncertainty, than the poor man's version. But in A01X, I always use in my lectures the poor man's version, and you should do the same.